guys, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and it's Valentine's Day weekend. Yay! As somebody who's single, I don't really like Valentine's Day. But I thought I would do my top 10 bookish boyfriends, and I left my notes behind me. Ta-da, I've got them now. Okay. So this time I'm going to do my top 10 bookish boyfriends, or guys in books that I would want to date. For this list, I stuck to only one guy per author, so that this isn't just a list of my favorite Shakespearean dudes or Jane Austen heroes. So that could be a different video later, but <laughs> so one one perfect guy from each author that I would want to date the most. And most of these guys have some combination of being really smart, really funny, witty, sarcastic like that. Or they are really caring, really kind, they're brave, or like to have adventures. These are kind of the things that I was like noticing when I was putting this list together. And these are a list of guys I would want to date the least, even though I still want to date them. To the absolute perfect guy in literature. Oh my goodness. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> At number 10, 10, I can talk. At number 10 is Mr. Rochester from Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. And Mr. Rochester is aloof and kind of surly and he jokes with Jane and he can be mean and he also lies to her and tries to get her to marry him even though he's already married. So he's really not anywhere near perfect. But for some reason he's still so engaging and I would still... I would still want to date him and marry him, but I don't know why. I'm a masochist or something, but something about Mr. Rochester is still very, very alluring. <laughs> At number nine, I have Carswell Thorne from The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. Uh, my favorite is him and Cress. They are so cute together. But he owns a spaceship, so we could go have awesome adventures. And he's this weird mix of being like very cocky and sure of himself, but then he's willing to help them anyway. Eventually he does help them and just becomes part of the team and I I love Carswell so much. He's just this fun. He is fun. Yes, I would want to date him because he's fun and we would have the Rampion and we could go fly through space. It would be awesome. Yeah, that would be our date. Okay. <laughs> At number whatever, at, at number eight, eight, okay, at number eight, I have Will Herondale from the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare. I don't own these books yet. I don't know why, but I just, I really love Will, and he is so sweet. Like, he is so well-read, such a bookworm, and then he is so funny. Like, anything that comes out of his mouth, I love it. He can just, on a dime, like, come up with the perfect line that is just the right mix of being really funny but sir I, I just I love Will okay and then he is willing to sacrifice his own happiness to see his two best friends get together even though it's like killing him inside because he loves them both and it's just how can you not love Will I I adore him he is so perfect and amazing really really funny so funny too Goodness. And the demon pox. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm, I'm off topic, sort of. I mean, not really. I'm getting there. At number seven is Sirius Black from the Harry Potter books by J.K. Rowling. And Sirius is the one where, the one character, I think, out of all these that we never see him matched up with anybody. He never has a romantic interest. And I don't know if that's part of why I'm drawn to him. Like, oh, you sweet guy, you need somebody. Or if it's just... He's just so awesome. So Sirius is <laughs> kind of funny, but also kind of serious. And serious. This his name is serious. Um, but he's such like a great parental figure to Harry, and he is so loyal to Lily and James and Remus. And I just, I think he would be awesome. Plus, he's got this like bad boy edge to him, and I feel so bad for him because he was in Azkaban for twelve years for something he didn't commit. I just, I don't know why, but out of all the characters in the Harry Potter series, I would want 
serious the most. So that's I don't know if that's weird or not, but that's how I feel. Um, yeah. Snape is also really, for some reason I am attracted to Snape, but I feel like he would be a horrible boyfriend. Whereas Sirius, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. He would still probably, like, cross the line somewhere. Okay. I'm just rambling. At number six, I have Eric from the Sookie Stackhouse novels, or True Blood, um, by Charlene, Charlene Harris. And Eric is one of the vampires. He owns family. Tasia. In this book particularly, Dead to the World, he loses his memory and we kind of get to see Eric without all the pressure on him that comes from running a bar and getting involved in vampire politics. So it's just kind of just Eric and I like that. And I so Eric and Sookie together is like my favorite pairing. But out of all the guys in the series, Eric's my favorite can't really quantify why. He's just awesome. He just is. Okay, at number five, I have Jack slash Ernest and the Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. That's who wrote these books. Wow, it's right there. Okay, so Jack, uh, first of all, it's Oscar Wilde play, so all the characters are extremely witty and funny, and it would just be an awesome world to live in, and there's no real danger, like nobody's about to die in this book, as opposed to some of these others. So that's cool. And then Jack is just, the way he, he's, <laughs> he's kind of like an idiot the way he's going about trying to court Gwendolyn, but he's also just, he cares about her so much. And I just, I love all the scenarios. Like it would just be fun to be with him. That's kind of my impression. Like him and Algie, it would just be fun to hang out with these guys. So I feel like, yeah, he would be a great, a great boyfriend. Yeah, if you could get past him lying about his name and what he does and everything, his whole identity. We could work past that. We could work past it. It would be okay. At number four, I have Wesley from The Princess Bride by William Goldman, which is probably not a surprise. Wesley is freaking perfect, okay? He is so devoted to Buttercup, even though we don't really see it. This is the one flaw in this book is I don't see why everybody's in love with Buttercup. Maybe if I actually saw how gorgeous and adorable and pretty she is, but I don't, I have seen the movie, but I still don't get it. Like, Buttercup is such a weak character, but Wesley is so awesome, and I just, I love him terribly much. He's romantic, but also this great hero, and he has a pirate ship. I, I want to go on adventures, apparently. Um, yeah, he is such... He's witty and like snarky, kind of sometimes. Just, I love, I love Wesley. I love him. He's like the perfect romantic hero. I should just look at the books instead of looking at the list. Duh. I have a book in my hand. Just I put them in order. Okay. <clears throat> at number three is Benedict from Much Ado About Nothing by William Shakespeare. It's my favorite Shakespeare in play, and that's because Benedict and Beatrice, I adore them so much, and their wit back and forth is so awesome. I would love to match wits with Benedict. That would be amazing. And he's also super loyal. Like, he thinks for himself, but is still really loyal and has this great sense of, like, right and wrong. So everything that happens in this book with Hero and Claudio, he takes Hero's side instead of taking his best friends because Hero's right. Like, he goes deeper where all the other guys in the book are kind of like, just like, we're men and we're going to take the guy's side. And Benedict actually takes the time to find out what's really happening and to help the girls out. And it's so awesome. And yeah, he's got a nice romantic side to him, but he still doesn't take it seriously. He's like, I love you, Beatrice, but still jokes with her. And I love that mix. That is just, yeah. And number two is Owen from the Enchanted Ink series by Shauna Swanson, Shanna Swanson. Why don't I know how to pronounce her name yet? But Owen is the really cute wizard down in R&D who is shy and likes to keep to himself. But it's so cute when he's with Katie and she like finally breaks, like he will talk to Katie and it's so sweet that she's like the one girl that he's actually interested in and to have that kind of attention would be so amazing to just, yeah, I don't care. Like Owen literally could not care less about any other girl in this world except Katie and I love it. It is so sweet. 
and he can communicate entirely in blushes, which is just adorable. I love that about him. And he's smart and clever and still funny, and he's super devoted to Katie and to his best friend Rod. And it's just, he's fantastic. I love him so much. Owen, Owen is pretty near perfection. But the number one most perfect character, most perfect guy in any book is Mr. Knightley from Emma by Jane Austen. And oh my goodness, Mr. Knightley is literally perfect. He cares about everybody. Like he cares about Emma, obviously, but he just cares about everybody in this in his community so much and he tries to keep peace between everybody and make everybody happy and all the characters in the book respect him like he's so highly respected and loved by everybody even mr and mrs elton who are kind of mean and awful to everybody else still respect mr knightley and that's just so cool and he goofs around with emma and like can joke with her and kind of tease her a bit, but is never mean to her. And he's so patient and, like, is this guiding influence to, like, try to make her be better and make her improve herself and tries to make, I guess, everybody else around them be better also. But this is kind of just the ideal guy. This is exactly the type. That was my perfect guy. Mr. Knightley is my perfect, perfect man. So freaking fantastic. Oh my goodness. So... Yeah, there are my top 10 bookish boyfriends where I restricted it to one per author. So yeah, there are other awesome guys from like Shakespeare and Jane Austen that probably couldn't have made this list if I wanted to, wanted to go that way. But so let me, let me know in the comments below what are your favorite guys in literature or your favorite bookish girlfriends. That's cool too. What are the best ladies? Um, I know I miss some. I know I like excluded Darcy and Edmund, and I can't even think of any Shakespearean guys right now that compare to Benedict. There aren't any. They just aren't. Um, but I know there's some like that. I know Jay Swayland didn't make it onto this list because Will is so awesome. But yeah, let me know what your favorite bookish guys are, your ideal leading men, and yeah. Peace out. I love you guys. Keep reading. Have a safe and happy Valentine's Day. Or go ignore the fact that it's Valentine's Day. I plan on having my nose in a book all weekend. That's, that's my goal. So yeah, uh, I did that stuff. I did the peace out. I love you. So bye guys. Keep reading. Ciao. Go get some chocolate.